Well, we are now just days out from the royal wedding. Yeah, the American fascination with royalty runs deep in this country, and Meghan Markle is certainly not the first actress to take the plunge. <laughs> The Philadelphia native was a major Hollywood star when she became Princess Grace of Monaco in 1956, but she wasn't instantly embraced by the people of Monaco like Meghan Markle has been by the Brits. Princess Grace's cousin, John Lehman, the former U.S. Navy secretary, remembers how hard she had to work to gain respect. For the first few years, it was a bit of a language barrier, uh, which she studiously erased by really learning French and and uh, learning uh, uh, the Madagascar culture and French culture and so it didn't take too long before she was their princess. More than 60 years later, Princess Grace is still making her mark. She's a style icon. She still inspires brides to this day to look um, like she did on her wedding day. There was inspiration um, uh, in her dress when uh, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, uh, got married to Prince William. You all know the reasons which have, have impelled me to renounce the throne. Believe it or not, Prince Harry isn't the first major royal to marry an American divorcee. His great-great-uncle, King Edward VIII, abdicated the throne in order to marry twice-divorced and American-born Wallace Warfield Simpson. She caused a big ruckus, uh, to say the least. Marrying the King of England also means that you are marrying the head of the Church of England. So there was no way in the 1930s that a, a marriage between a, a king and a divorcee was going to happen. Wallace Simpson didn't attempt to fit in and instead demonstrated an irreverence toward Edward's position, which he found very appealing. However, most Brits didn't and felt she had cast a spell over Edward as rumors swirled around them. There are also many facts that suggest that there, there was a sinister side um, to this couple of photos of of them greeting and uh, you know smiling um, with uh, the Fuhrer um, Adolf Hitler they probably became the world's best known freeloaders uh, you know plopping themselves down wherever wealthy Americans had homes and there was you know there was a certain cachet attached to that and getting a piece of that royal prestige caused many a competition among wealthy Americans including the Kennedys so when Jack and Jackie got married um, that was sort of referred to as America's royal wedding well, so Lee Bouvier, Jacqueline Kennedy's um, younger sister, not to be outdone, she ended up marrying a Polish prince. So one sister ended up with a president, the other sister ended up with a prince. Just so fascinating. Uh, and we want to remind you, we are your official royal wedding station. Our own Tim Pamplin, the night cam, is preparing to head to London for the big day. I think he's going to have a good time. You can catch his live reports starting Thursday morning on Local 4 News Today. We also have a special royal wedding page on our website. Just go to click on Detroit.com slash royals. Okay, I see you. Yeah, <laughs> just as long as you don't hear me. Yeah. Right. <laughs>